This is Cactus on letsmakerobots.com and I'm going to give you a quick demo of my stereo volume controller that I put together using a Pickaxe 18M2 chip. It's pretty simple actually. The uh, basic circuit starts with the 386 audio amplifier chip. And this circuit is straight out of Force Mims and everywhere else that you can find it. Uh, we have a, two of them because this the stereo controller. So one 386 for the left channel, one 386 chip for the right channel. Uh, typically, each of those has something like a 10k uh, potentiometer on the input to act as a volume control. What I'm going to do is take this these 10k pots and you can get a device from microchip it's the MCP 42010 uh, potentiometer chip with a SPI interface so I'm gonna, my pickaxe is going to talk to the uh, microchip device with um, actually it's just one way with a uh, SPI to control the volume on my end on the human interface I'm going to use a, um, a a joystick and this will be the a, a Wii nunchuck and this will communicate via I to C so that's pretty simply the the um, the circuit. The simple audio amplifier that's controlled uh, with the volume control over this uh, MCP 42010 chip. It's getting its commands via a serial bit banged uh, SPI commands from the pickaxe, which is getting the human interface um, signals via the we chuck over I to C. One other thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have a frequency generator on the pickaxe and use uh, pulse width modulation, the PWM out commands out of the pickaxe uh, in through a uh, just a, a passive uh, filter, uh, just a capacitor and a couple of resistors um, to feed in to the the audio signal so this gives us some tone generation on the pickaxe as well and this is what the circuit looks like <clears throat> um, battery in we have a, uh, a voltage regulator chip and a, um, a Wii chuck breakout chip that go to the uh, Wii nunchuck this is the um, Wii chuck adapter here that I got through uh, spark fun I believe uh, another voltage regulator chip to give five volts that come down to the this the bottom breadboard this is the 18m2 pickaxe chip on a uh, axe stack um, there's the 386 chips this is the MCP 42010 um, dual potentiometer over here is um, just a low pass filter ish thing um, this part is probably messy and making people cringe when they look at it uh, up here this is a, a another power amp it's an audio amplifier it's a 10 watt stereo power amplifier from kits RS it's kit number 88 mostly because I wanted a little extra boost for uh, for another use of this so my input as I said was the the Wii nunchuck and then there's a uh, also I, in addition to the tone generation off the pickaxe I have a, a stereo input to plug into um, some audio device and then coming out on this end is a connection to go to your speakers or, or wherever else that signal happens to be going. And the volume is controlled uh, when you have the Z button pressed so uh, tilt it back the accelerometer 
It's full on. Uh, full mute. Although there's some bleed over in the in the ground ground, I guess, because I can still hear it. Um, and then if you hold, you can also use the joystick to pan pan left and right. I know that doesn't come across on the video, but um, you can do that. The, the C button just resets to uh, the middle potentiometer setting equal on both sides. If you're not holding any buttons, the joystick toggle left turns the tone generator off, toggle right turns the tone generator on, and uh, the joystick up and down just uh, ramps the frequency and depending on how far you push the, the joystick it'll go and that will change the frequency increment. So that's basically what I have.